In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. Now, before we jump into Premiere, it's really important that we get the footage and it's important that we get the footage filmed correctly in order to do the effect. So to begin with, you want to mount your camera onto a tripod and dial all of your settings into manual mode. Now set your focus and start rolling the camera. Now you want to start rolling an empty frame first and make sure you're not in the shot. You want to make sure you capture your clean plate. So once you've left that filming for around 10 seconds, you've got 10 seconds of empty footage no one is in the frame. You can now run into frame and hold up your photo frame. And you just want to grab a few variations. You can move this in front of your face, in front of your body. You can move this around from left to right. Basically, you just want to film this footage and as soon as you've got both your clean plate and the frame footage, you can now drop this into Premiere and begin editing the effect. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and as you can see, I've got my clean plate here and then I've got the frame footage here. So to begin with, I'm just going to drop the frame footage onto video layer two and I'm gonna drag that on top of the clean plate. So at the moment we can't see the clean plate and that is because the clean plate is on video layer one and the frame footage is on top of that on video layer two. So in order to make this frame disappear, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the part of the frame. So we're going to cut out that part and we're gonna leave the empty footage, the clean plate underneath. So we're looking through that gap in the first footage and looking through to the clean plate below. So let me show you how to do that. So we'll go to the point where it stops moving. So we'll go to around here. We'll select video layer two. So there's our frame footage. We'll go to effect controls, go to opacity, and we'll select the free draw bezier or the pen tool. And then what we're gonna do is we're just going to draw a mask around that frame. There you go. Now at the moment you'll see that has made everything disappear except for what's inside of the frame we need to invert that because we want that to be the other way around. So we'll go into mask one, go to inverted and select that box. And as you will see, everything has disappeared inside the frame. And that's because we've got the clean plate underneath. So essentially what we need to do from here is we need to create a keyframe on the mask path and we need to move the mask to follow the frame. So we'll create a brand new keyframe on mask path. We'll move over to the right a second and we'll move that mask down. Now, if you're struggling to see what you're doing because this mask is deleting the footage, then you can just go ahead and make a duplicate of this footage and only add the mask to the top layer. So we're gonna make a copy of that. So we'll select option on the keyboard, hold that down and drag video two up to video three. And then you can let go of option. Now from here, we'll go onto video layer two, we'll delete that mask. And as you can see, we've got the inside of the frame back. Now we'll go onto video layer three and we're just going to move this mask to follow the position of this frame. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna do a really rushed job of this. As you can see, there's definitely imperfections in this. Uh, I'm definitely cutting out the sofa arm in the bottom half of the frame as well. So make sure you spend your time on this. Make sure you do a really clean job of this. But once you've gone through the process of adding in all of those keyframes and the mask is following that frame perfectly, all you have to do from there is delete video layer two, and that is going to delete the inside of the frame. As I said, the inside of the frame at the moment, my masking was really rushed and therefore it looks terrible. But if you spend the time to get this right and you go frame by frame to make sure that it perfectly sits in the frame, then this effect will look really powerful. But there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.